What's up, Slimers? My room is slowly being consumed by a blinding radiance. So today I played one of the most meta and funny games ever. Funkus? Among Us? So go down below, subscribe so people can find this channel, and please enjoy the stream. He's live! Oh my lord! Quick! Someone kill him! He's live! Someone kill him! Oh, shoot, hang on. I'm gonna tweet this stream out really, really quick. Let me just tweet this out. Let me get, oh God, I wasn't even prepared. I literally just went live. I didn't even put out chat. Hang on, pop out chat. Yes, show me chat. Hello, chatters. Um, it's, it's, uh, what should I, what should I cash in, or not cash in, what should I write here? Hey, Melon XD3, welcome to the stream. First time chat. I appreciate you stopping by. Oh, we got some pogs already in. You love to see it. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Welcome. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Holy, ho whoa. Oh my God. What was that? What was that? That was insane. That was crazy, guys. Sorry, uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of what I should, what I should type here in this, in this tweet. Um, I am absolutely, I, uh, getting my bean freaked. There we go. Getting my bean freaked. Excellent. Perfect. We're in. How's everyone doing? Can I get a happy birthday? Yes, you can. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Catastrophic Cat, for the resub. Welcome, everyone, to the chat. Welcome, all you first-time chatters. This is a mm -hmm. big day. This is a big day for goopers, for gawkers, for slickers, for gluckers. Mm -hmm. Do we have any gluckers in the chat today? Mods, ban, ban all the gluckers. We don't have those here. Today we're going to be playing a very, very, very special game. The Stanley Parable. Which I remember fucking loving when I first played this in, I think, 2015. And they just, I think they remastered it. Um, and I am so excited. This is like, I, I think if I had to compare it to something, like Super Liminal. Um, which I absolutely loved playing through on stream. So let's get into it! Sluckers, glunkers, bunkers, and dunkers! Okay. Uh, English. God, starting me off with some hard questions here. Yes, I've played the Stanley Parable before. Okay, hang on. I, I, I might have to adjust the sub... I might have to adjust the sub sound, because that is going to drive me insane. <laughs> And rightfully so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you guys for the subs, though. Oh, my God. Thank you, everyone, for resubbing as well. Mm -hmm. It's a big day. Big day. I, and I can't wait to take 50% of that. Yes! Mm -hmm. I can't wait to take half of that. And to give the other half to a corporation. Mm -hmm. God. There's nothing like it. There's nothing quite like it. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm sorry, I think I have to, I think I'm just gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna mute it, but I'll read stuff out. Thank you all for the resubs, thank you to these nuts for the resub. This is gonna be a shorter stream. Oh, someone just sent me some sick slime story designs, holy shit. I don't know if I should have said that. <sighs> um, this is gonna be a shorter stream. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, we're gonna be, finally guys, I'm, I'm standing. Oh yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's finally time. I'm going to literally be, yeah, I'm going to literally be Stan. And to the current time, P, it's PM. Is this fucking British? No, it's PM. Currently 3, 52, 3, 52. Shout out to my Easterner, Easterners. Easting it up. There we go. Accessibility settings. Oh, this game's gonna access my brain. 
This game is going to access my bean. It's already meta. It's already meta. Holy shit. Oh my lord. How is it already? Hang on. How's it already meta? One second. One second. Okay. There we go. Wait. Wait, did I? Hang on, what? Wait, did I do the right thing there? Wait, did I? Hang on, what? Oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? Did I do the right thing there? I was trying to. Why am I getting. Why is it zooming in on the. Why is it zooming in? Why am I getting. Why is it zooming in on the. Zooming in on the. Why is it zooming in? I don't know why it's doing that. Why is it zooming in on the. I literally didn't mean to do that at all. I don't know why it's doing that. I have absolutely no idea. Why does it keep getting bigger? I have absolutely no idea. This wasn't even supposed to be the bit. This wasn't even supposed to be the bit. The. 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 I'm Pixels. I'm Pixels. I'm a gradient. Black to white, white to black. Colors, they melt together. Space! I see space! I'm pixels. I'm pixels. Every second you spend in my screen is a year in which they melt together. Space! I don't know. I see space. I believe. Where am I? Kill me! Kill me! Yeah, let's let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, begin the game. Hang on, I don't want I don't want my stream up. I don't want to see how many fucking people there are. I hate that shit. All right, hang on. This is the story of a man named Stanley. That's my real name. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Squid game. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what I do. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month yeah. of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Hey, Stanley, dude. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Dream went live. He had been at his desk for <laughs> nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. What? Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Whoa. I'm Stanley. 427. Numbers. Numbers. Thoughts. Can I st maybe I can still just hit the button. Right, hang on, let me pull up. Let me make sure chat's up. Let me make sure chat's up. No, not 420, chat! Not in this office. No weed, no drugs, just buttons. Buttons and numbers and buttons. And numbers and... Why, why does it make that... Why does it make that sound when I click? <laughs> but Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? 
What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Okay, yeah. Nothing will hurt me. Yeah. Nothing will break me. Yeah. In here, I can be happy forever. Yeah. I will be happy. Yeah. Stanley waited. I turned, I Hours curl up in the ball. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. The pause champ soon, ending? Very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Okay. Now it's just a little bit closer. All right. Now it's even closer. <gasps> Here it comes. <laughs> okay. Let's not do that again. Is audio is audio good by the way? Is this is this a good amount? I just took a shower. I'm afraid I can't watch you anymore. You can still get slimy. Okay, great, 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 great. great. Four to eight. Four to nine. Squid game? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. They're out. They're somewhere out here, dude. I know they're out here. What's that say? It's loading. Secrets. Drones! It's gotta mean something. It's gotta mean something. What, what kind of documents are these? What sort of job is this? Garfield? Where is- where's Garfield? The funny- the- the cat! 424. 456 has gotta be around here somewhere. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, you don't, you, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. It was so funny, though. It was it was so funny when Stanley touched everything. Who? Oh! What? What did I wait, wait? Hang on. Input received. We're we're jacking in. I'm binary. How do I how do I how do I give it more inputs? Beep boop boop boop. Beep boop. What did I do? It's got to mean something. Input received. Am I the input? What what caused it to receive an input? We gotta figure out what what caused that. Stanley clicked on literally. Oh please, are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? I, I, no, 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 no. I didn't do it. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. I thought that was now good. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. <laughs> well, okay, Dad. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly 50 clicks. That's a good, that's a respectable number. That is a good number. That is a good number of clicks. Hang on. No, no, I'm coming for you, Adam Sandler. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. Yeah, I want to see some hustle, okay. Stanley. Right, right, right. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the okay, cost. Okay, all right. Why don't you go put 100... 20 clicks into door number 417? 417. 20 clicks. 20 clicks. Nautical Miles, Cookie Clicker, Grandma, Grandma Harvest, Cookie Harvest. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. That's a great idea. Stop, Squid Game! <laughs> I, something is wrong with me. 
Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Yes, Papa! 415. 415. 417. 415. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, back to door number 437. Let's go quickly now! Grr. Oh god, I forgot what oh god, I forgot what number. Oh shit, I forgot what door he said. Four two was it four two seven? It was four I think it was four Let's see. How about you click on well I don't know the copy machine. I have to right, back to room four one seven. I'm what? really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. I think you're right. I think you're right. This is feel Oh my god, I'm being tempted by Satan. Hang on. Oh. Oh, it's just one knock. Just one the, the devil's lettuce. It's real. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419? Four, four, okay, 419 is... Where's 419? Oh, God, it would, have, it would have to be here, right? Or would it be... 419. 419. No, 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 no. I think it's back there. I think it's back there. I'm feeling... I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling really good about this. Why am I start? I'm not start. Why am I starting soon? <laughs> four one nine. Four. Four one nine. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Yay! Don't give me a few clicks on door 416. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Woo! We almost got it! Oh, my Not God! The copy machine, do that one again! Okay. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> let's just say, copy that! Sir! Finish it off, Stanley! Five <laughs> clicks on door four, three, zero! Yes! Oh! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five oh. little clicks. Really, now? Oh. What were you thinking? Someone just typed, am I getting off to this? What? Just because I like it sexually? You fucking freak? Tell you what, dude. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um... I'm a liberal. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. He didn't. He didn't. He wanted to find door 456 and go squid game in there. <sighs> yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <laughs> Give me your juice, funny man. Give me your juice. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. All right, fine, fine, the room, fine, but fine. eager to get back to business, fine. Stanley took the first open door on his left. <laughs> oh, I certainly could. I certainly could. Or I, I could go to the funny... That is a funny chair, dude. Oh! Why was it the old guy the whole time? <laughs> let's let's rebel. Let's rebel. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Was that a reference to Stanley Parable? Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. Okay. I... 
I mean... Aside from the ones I tell myself? No. No, I'm not. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. Will cause death. Which means while it is standing completely still! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Okay, okay. To, to be fair... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. To be fair... It made sense in my head. It made sense in my head. Fine. All right, let's just... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I'll be the Stanley I was meant to be, okay? I'll follow your rules. I'll follow your rules. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to... How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworker. Oh, never mind. Using slides to assure employees everything is not okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the <gasps> and and throw some bevel on all the text. Oh my God! Everyone is unique. You most of all. <laughs> I feel like I belong, but not. Tell me more. Tell me more funny words. Number of slides on this slide. Charts, charts, and slides. Slides. I love infographic. Right at which the charts on the same slide depict the same information. I, I think that you need to check your source. Okay. Rates of increasing graphs per slide. I don't see how a Venn diagram here is. No more charts on... Stop, stop. No, keep... The Boss Appreciation Minute. On your Boss Appreciation <laughs> Minute worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Okay. We can do that. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna love it here. I'm gonna love it in this family. What are your dreams for the future? Success? Plant mitosis! Finally, someone gets it. When I'm, in, when I'm hanging out with a friend and I say, let's split, they're like, where do you want to go? And I say, no. Okay, I think that's everything we're gonna get. What is hot? Profits, profits, profits. <laughs> Holy shit! The Twitch.tv boardroom! We found it! It's, it's, it's beautiful. Oh my god. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Teenage demographic percentage. Throw, yes, yes! Oh, this is, this is brilliant. I, I get it now. I get it now. Everyone subscribe. Broom closet. Well, I, I mean. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. There is the, br there is the broom though. There is a broom and you can't say there's nothing in here. I mean, I'm in here. I could close. What if I close the door? Here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. To some no reason to still be here. To some, they may see that. I see a wrench. I see. Oh my God! Is that a staple gun? A staple. It was baffling, of the broom Stanley closet. was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. French, French, At least if there French, was something French, to interact French, French, with, French. he'd be justified in some way. As it is. He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. F.A.? Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Se Why? Secrets. Please offer me some explanation the here. Secrets. I'm, I'm genuinely the confused. The secrets in the walls. The secrets in the walls. I know. I know. I hear them. I see them. I feel them. There's a nail? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? 
If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find no, out. No, I just wanted it didn't to... It occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. And that's the beauty of improv, is now we're, and now we're in the broom closet. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Yeah, that's what chat's saying. I hope your friends find this concern. Yeah, they're saying the broom closet ending is a fast ending, dude. I gotta know what happens. I gotta know. Welcome Raiders Stanley to the stream. Was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Oh, he probably only got no! the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I, I clicked on 420 once, dude. I took one bite of the devil's lettuce, bro. I, a single bite, and I'm well, pretty sure it was a house plant. Well, I a conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Holy shit, a dead body! I think he must have been alive or something. Uh, why, why was he, what was he doing in here? It's just a broom closet. Is it like, is it like a simulator game? Or something? Um, let's see, you can't really click on anything. Doesn't seem like. I just hear that hum. I. I How long can you leave a body? Uh, oh my god, no one, wow, no one was subbing to him on Twitch. Oh, jeez. Wow. Thank you, Dead Inside, for the resub! I'm sure this guy would've loved it. He would've loved it. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, you ah, can step out! second player. It's good to have you on board. Good to be here. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. What did you do?! What did you do to him?! It's something with this, isn't it? It's something in here, isn't it? You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species what happened of to him invalids. Here? Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be <laughs> waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. I do, it's crazy, I actually do have a fungus from Slime Story. What? Email report? What the fuck did I just do? Holy shit! What is it, what is an email report? What's an e what is an email report? Username, Pat. what the fuck did I just, I used a fu- I, I, 
<laughs> what? <coughs> what? Funkus? Amonkus? Name of the incident. Uh, powerful, powerful spores. Receiving address. Slime sickle. Here's my full Twitch password. I used to log in. Uh, receiving address. Um, su support. Uh, who who would I? I don't know. I don't know who. To, uh, Stanley. Stanley at at, at uh, parable dot com. Send report. What the fuck did I do? What the fuck did I actually do? Oh my god. Okay. Well, I, I guess there's really nothing in there. Psych! Okay, hang on. It, it exited. What the fuck? It exited. I accidentally get it off full screen on my. That's oops. Oops. Hang on. I so I'm sorry. I need to make it full screen again. Shit. Don't don't worry about me. I I broke the game. I broke the game with my funny fungus. Um. By the way, Earth Day sale going on over at SlimeStory.com. Go over there. Uh, grab something now before it's too late. Everything's 20% off and it plants double the trees. Okay, still just here with a corpse at my, uh... I, it feels like a soul just possessed me for a second to plug his sail. That was weird. Office. Upstairs to the boss's office. Hey, thank you, uh... Z Zess... Zessist. For the five tier ones. Um... Welcome to the Fungal Network. I think that that's probably what he used to say. I'm gonna walk downstairs instead. <gasps> um. Am I about to get boiled? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? Yeah. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. But dear. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. That's valid. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <laughs> why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? <laughs> and for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. <laughs> were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, why this is, is all car? too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. One, two, three, four. I'm dreaming! One, two, three, four. He yelled. One, two, three, four. This is all a dream. One, two, three, four. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Been here before. He wasn't going to lose his job. Been here before. He wasn't crazy after all. One, two, three, four. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing Baby. buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Ah! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. So, I don't, don't want to go! I don't want to go to... so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Whoa. How was he remaining? I'm so going. Lucid? I'm going into space. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered. Where you? Where? Don't take me there. I don't. One, he was amazed he hadn't asked himself. Is it about the creature, the shadow creatures Why I see? Is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself, being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. 
I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking, thinking about, about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he well, thought, thought that felt very odd, and wondered, wondered if, if this voice spoke, spoke to all people in their dreams. dreams. The, the truth, truth was, was that, of course, course this, was this was not a dream. dream. How, how could, could it, be? it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing I mean, that if, if he's, he's asleep, asleep, he doesn't, he doesn't have, have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever Maybe been in his, in his life. life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Yes. That this was a dream. Yes. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. Bye -bye boy. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Yes. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife I'm married? and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Please, please, please. What do we more? What do we more? What do we more? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. What the fuck happened here? Holy shit! Were they live? Um. Okay. Um, they're playing some kind of game? Holy shit, man. They're fucking. They're, they're two dead people right there. Oh my god. Um, well, I, I guess, uh. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What's up, everyone on the, on the, on the stream? Uh, I'm Slemichemichemical. Cool. Um, looks like we're playing some kind of game here.
when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, I, I'm pretty. I'm really good at following instructions. Uh, I, I, I like doing that. So I can. Sure. Yeah, I can. I can enter the door on the left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. A broom closet? I guess there wouldn't probably wouldn't be anything in there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah. Yeah, I um I can do that. Let's see if, if my Oh yeah, this this is nice. Executive bathroom. I do kind of have to pee a little first, if that's okay. I get the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say, that's a lovely purse. Extreme, oh, extreme bathrooms. Top 10 violent shits. How'd they know what I love? How do they know? Top tw <laughs> Forbes, Forbes. Forbes top 50, pisses. <laughs> Computer, book, the beige pages. Okay. It's like some sort of... Oh my god! What? Business strategy? That's just killing a... That's just killing a wild panda! That's not business strategy. Is the is the boss's office up here? Is this? I guess we'll go up. Oh, oh my God! Unless it was like a bad one. Like if it was somewhere it probably shouldn't be. They really, I, I don't know, they're kind of fucking gross, aren't they? Pandas? They're kind of disgusting, actually. I sort of want to... Chat, I'm not escalating. I'm not escalating. I'm elevating. I'd... Yeah, I'd, I'd shoot... I'd shoot a wild animal. Pandas everywhere! Jesus. God, I just wanna... I just wanna grab something and... And squeeze it! Just making sure we're not stuck. Oh! I think we got on the wrong floor.
一万，这边，这边来了，他们是高了。I'm sorry, I forget what floor I was supposed to be on. Is there like a is there like a floor button that we can There's probably a lobby. I I just asked the receptionist. <laughs> Something's wrong in here! Something's wrong! Let me out! Let me out! What the fuck? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Probably not. Must have hidden it around here somewhere. Must have hidden the pin. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. I don't think there's any way he could. There's not, yeah, there's not anything around here that says it. 2845. I know, I'm looking for it. Jesus Christ, man. Um. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override what? kicked in, no. and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. I cracked the code. What's in here? Link plus. Oh, why don't? I don't like this. Whoa, what? What's, what's, where am I going? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his So a little... Why did he feel this little... when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I can't hold it in. I can't hold it in. I have to say it. I have to say it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it. Oh. 
Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, I I think I gotta call an emergency meeting for this. I don't I don't like the look of that. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of that. I, I um. That's that's. Oops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley uh. actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Oh, that's... Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. Yeah, that is valid. That is actually valid that it does that, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, so it does... Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. I'm got nope. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. <laughs> Two, eight, four, five. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I'll go down back downstairs. I'll go. This is hardly. This is hardly a non-linear. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Oh, uh, not because he told me to. Not he How does he keep to. coming up with all of this? I just, it's my own thing, okay? I just don't make it weird, bro. I just wanted to see. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. Play, I, I can't even begin to grapple Play with music. what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. Me as well. I can't wait to find out. <laughs> I saw someone type in chat. I desire the narrator carnally. That is so visceral. Oh my god. Woo! Oh my god. It's the boss's office. <laughs> <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. I know, this is big. Okay, okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation it's and to big. move forward it's with- It's big, No, man. no, wait. No, I need more time to process. That's fair, take, yeah, take- It's fine, guys. Just cat jam, no need to be impatient. He didn't expect this to happen. It's, it is a fair right. reaction. I have fully come to terms with it. Are you sure? I have made space in my worldview okay. for this astonishing new reality. Okay. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Okay. Stanley walked forward out of the boss's office and saw a small steel elevator. Curiously, he pushed the red button labeled with a downwards arrow of course going back down in the elevator what could how be did the i not anticipate it i mean sure no now it's see. obvious but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago this kind of thing had never been attempted before it never will again i had no frame of reference to even anticipate it not after what's That's about just to happen how revelatory stanley's decision making is not a after breath what's of about fresh to happen. air in a landscape of storytelling things are about to change stale and repetitive Things are about to change.
Oh, I need, I should, uh, I need to upgrade. Hmm. You know what? I need to level up a bonfire. Instant. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. Oh. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. Could be anything. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. You never know. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. I know. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You yeah. know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. So true. But where's the tension? Mm -hmm. Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters? Yes. Why aren't we given time yes. to imagine the surprises? I don't know. To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the <laughs> Funny choice of words. <laughs> marvel. This is storytelling, yeah. Stanley. Yeah. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. <laughs> Thank you. And it's I mean, really it's... all because of you. No. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and no, over. No, it's... Truly, I mean it. This is unique and it different. It's both of us. It's it not like both of us. anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. I know. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time, and we all know it. Which is why we're so starved for content that the makes us feel that? sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? People look up to you. Thank you. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference <gasps> for you. Oh, yo, so you did it now. You did it now, too, man. Your storytelling and your life. Okay. Yes, I know you're not uh, much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. Oh. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This Not is many the do. kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, good, we're here. It's finally. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. It's time to see them. It's time for the Stan parable. World's healthiest human being. All tricks revealed. Holy shit. What is that strange green and yellow and red concoction she's holding? How we did it. The pyramids. PVC. I should have known. It was tubes. The guy who went to Mars. And then me. Stanley. This is it. This is my moment. An evening with world peace, baby. I don't I don't think he could stop it. I don't think he could stop me. Ah, yes. Here it is. Just through this door. That was the Minecraft door opening sound. That was at, that was the Minecraft door opening sound that just played. Did anyone else's brain like straight up get instantly fried by that because mine did q a with the world's first sentient machine oh th that sounds alarming doing great conversation with alex he's dead Welcome, Stanley. all right are you ready i've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative oh don't worry you'll do great just be okay. yourself and speak from the heart i'm I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay, it looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Thanks for showing me that cool skateboard trick in the parking lot. Stanley, me, dad, story. For my son. I gotta do this for my son. 
up again, down again. Remember where I came from. It all started going up. But sometimes you gotta stop and look down. Hello! Hey! Oh my god! Jessica from high school all the fucking way! Oh my god! I'm out. I'm out. I had so uh, There was so much more! There was so much more! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh, no. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, shit. <sighs> That's it. My fame, my fortune, my story. It's all gone. It's all gone. What's the point? I'm just here, I'm just a guy, surrounded in, in dead bodies that look exactly like me? I should call the police. I, let's, I should call the police. Let's raid someone. I, I need to call the cops. This is, this is bad. This is bad. I don't know how these guys got here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I do actually have to end the stream, though. I do have somewhere to be. I just thought this would be a really fun, quick... Quick one. I want to play more of this if you guys want to see me uh, stream more of it. So uh, follow and and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, let's raid. Oh, let's raid Schlatt. He's live right now with a P.O. box opening. Thank you guys for coming to the stream. Hope everyone has a great night. Hope everyone has a good rest of your day. Uh, make sure to follow and, uh, and you won't miss out on anything. Um, and let's absolutely goop it up. Here we go. Goopy goopy gunky gunky, keep remember, be funky.